friends, welcome to Squared Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we'll be setting up our next week in our planners. I've got some sticker sheets here ready to go as well as some washi tape which I'll be using and these sticker books which I pulled from as well as some supplemental stickers. This week is the third week of the Planable Challenge for August and the theme this week is Sweet Summer Treats. If you are interested in joining us for the challenge, just go ahead and post your spreads up on Instagram using the hashtag PlanableAugust2020. Okay, you guys, so this week I am doing a number of things a little bit differently. <laughs> First off, I am doing a new layout type that I haven't worked in before. It's called Subject Layout and I have it in my Etsy shop if you're interested. It's very similar to the teacher layout if you're familiar with that layout from Happy Planner. Just has a little bit of a different feel and also has the headers across the top. So similar to a vertical as far as the styling just broken out into individual boxes. So I really like the idea of this layout, but I kind of think it would be more useful for me in a super functional way, not in a decorative way if that makes sense. So actually decorating it is a bit of a scary challenge for me. <laughs> so we will see how we do. I pulled some stickers and I'm hoping that I can figure out a way to use them so it looks good. But like I said, this is totally new and foreign to me, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. <laughs> Just honest, putting that out there. Also this week I am doing that sweet summer treats theme and I had thought about doing ice cream or you know popsicle something cool for the summer but I really didn't want that temptation in my planner <laughs> so <laughs> I've been trying to eat healthy and get back on track and I did not need to say ice cream in my face all week so I thought I'd kind of finagle it into something that could be healthy in the right context. <laughs> so I went with strawberries and like berries, strawberry shortcake, uh, that kind of stuff, which has a healthier take on it maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you guys can be the judge. I might just be reaching for straws, but at least I'm looking at strawberries all week and not ice cream or cake or whatever it is that I would choose for a sweet summer treat. I have started to lay in these strawberries and one idea I had was to kind of have them bursting out from the corner, kind of flying around. I think this could be cute but I was having a hard time making it work with a lot of these like doubled up strawberries that they have. I only had so many to work with and they came out of the food sticker book as well as a little cake in the cupcakes. Most of the other like more food related stickers, but stickers that came from the recipe sticker book, which I really love the feels of that book. So it really drew me to use it this week. Specifically those larger box stickers. I just like the styling of the strawberries and everything and the outlining and uh, really cute. So I thought that would be a nice base for what I'm trying to do here. So I'm working on just maybe trying to make it look like I mentioned, like it's bursting from the corner, but to me it just looks, I don't know, maybe a little too uniform. So I'm moving things around, trying to get the feeling that I want. But in the end, I just, I changed my mind. In the end, I was like, okay, this isn't working, not with these stickers. So uh, I will soon enough take them apart <laughs> so just yeah wait for that and do something else with those my second idea which i think is still good and the execution i think is pretty good in the end was to do the strawberries kind of raining down from the top and i did end up liking it I kind of wish I had a few more strawberries and different variations. I think that was really the problem is that they all looked really uniform. So I wasn't really loving that. But aside from that, the idea of them kind of raining down is cute. And I went with that in the end.
So I'm just going to maneuver all of those ones that I had before, kind of figure out a spot for them. I did want them not to be limited to just the top. I wanted them to come into the bottom a bit. So that's what you're going to see me do here. Also decided to kind of do that theme with it coming out of the corner with the cupcakes alone and I think that's cute. It has a little bit of an excitement with them floating around. I grabbed these longer boxes. I thought they would be cute for like a double day across and they fit almost perfect. They're actually a little bit short but I think that's a perfect addition there. In some of the areas just to give a little bit of variation. And then I grabbed a bunch of circle stickers as well. I kind of pepper around. There are some rose gold highlights in some of these stickers so I did pull a few little rose gold items to tie it all together specifically for the sidebar. And then anything that had like a rose gold touch in the recipe binder, I tried to bring that in as well. Sticking with a mainly reddish to pink color scheme. It's more of like a dusky pink that they have in the recipe planner. Um, and in the food sticker book, it's a little bit more true blue pink like in the cake and the cupcakes, but I think it all ties together close enough. And I also have a few highlights of like bluish green from the jars. And then I have a, a sticker with a little thumbs up just as an accent. And right now I'm just like, throwing stickers on spread. <laughs> I'm like, I really don't have a, a methodology of what I'm doing. I didn't really like it. I, it was a little bit too just kind of chaotic and it didn't have any, I don't know, design to it. It was just like, well, this looks good here. And I like to have a little bit more of a, you know, like a, a design to the theme. So. I broke out the washi and started laying that in and trying to figure out how I might pull things together using the washi. And I've been trying to study the washi masters. Planogram is a really great washi layerer of stickers as well as Mom Run Craft. Both of them, I always see really nice washi layering from them. I'm still trying to get my groove on. I, I would really love it if you guys know of a video or know of a planner who's done some kind of instructional washi tape video because I need to watch it. <laughs> because it takes me forever to figure out how to make it look good. And if I just had some kind of, you know, system, I would totally feel more confident with washi. I think, well, at least that's what I think. So we'll see if I can find something like that. But if you guys have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below, please. So I am going to cut out this box sticker here and just make it a square and then reuse that other piece somewhere else. I just didn't want it hanging out. I kind of wanted it to feel, I don't know. I like the square look better, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So cutting it, I liked, and then hopefully I can, again, try to get it into the design a bit more and figure out how to make it look good. I also had laid that washi strip across the numbers. It's not going to be on top of everything like that. I just didn't want to pick everything up and then put it behind it. So I will do that when I move everything to the actual sheet. But I wanted to see if I liked the addition of the washi and I did. So we will keep that, um, but we'll just make some arrangements later. So 
So here's where I start thinking, okay, maybe I could mimic some of those awesome layering tips from the two planners I mentioned before and mainly just copying what I see or how they do it. Like again, if I had some kind of technique class, that would be awesome. So I'm really hoping you guys have something for me down there. <laughs> like I've talked about washing my whole channel. <laughs> so I really need something to get me more confident with it. And honestly, you guys, I could keep talking, but it's just going to be me figuring things out for a little bit. I'm just going to sit back and let you watch and see how things go. But basically, I'm just trying to make little groupings that I think look a bit more designed. Okay, so I think I've got everything where I want it to be. We will start transferring it to the page, starting with that washi tape I mentioned earlier, having to move to the back. I'm just gonna lift this guy off and see if I can get it clean off the page. And of course it totally curled. I <laughs> just waited and did it, but once I get the washi down on the sheet, it does not come back up. Um, I mentioned this before, the paper is very sticker uh, adhesive. I don't know how the best to describe it, but it, they stick down really well to the page. Anything washi, no matter what. I'm starting to think it's because the paper is so smooth, which is nice. It's got a nice feel to it, but there's no like texture to it. so. It's adhering completely to the page surface when it lays down. So stickers are much harder to adjust once um, 
they're laid down on this on my inserts on the paper that I've decided to use. So I went ahead and lay that in. I put in the August laying it sideways and that I grabbed, that's the only thing I grabbed from that Agenda 52 sticker book. I just like the styling of the word and I thought that would work well with this layout. And I'm going to lay in my sidebar, just a few uh, spots for weekly to do's. And then I'm going to trim it out. I'm going to move over this grouping that I put together, which I think looks pretty cute. Uh, I'm going to bump up this flag a little bit just so that you can see it a little better. The rose gold doesn't reflect all that well so it's kind of hard to see in some lighting but it's a nice little rose gold flag on that and I'm going to move these jars over try to remember where I had them and of course some adjustment needed here just to make sure that the washi tape is straight across there we go. And then just adding a few colorful elements around. I'll do the rest of the header last, so we'll just go back to this corner and keep working on the decor. And I think this little corner came out pretty cute in the end. And then of course I trim it but make it look a little bit weird when I finally trim this washi so <laughs> it looks like it's butting up against the thing I trimmed it a little bit short but that's okay it still looks cute just gonna drop in these cupcakes Then this other long banner. Definitely like the addition of the dot confetti with the with the banners. I think it adds some extra fun. And I'm going to move over this next piece. I thought that might be cuter together since it's meal prep and kitchen kind of go together, but um, it didn't look quite right. So I'm going to move it where I sort of had it before, just down a little bit. And just find a home for this last guy. I didn't really like it floating up there, so maybe I'll try to add it to something else. Yeah, I like that. I like it trimmed. Kind of mirrors the to-do in the sidebar. And I'm going to start laying in those strawberries and the numbers. And I'm probably going to adjust things a bit now that I have that washi in there. So I'll put them pretty much where they were before, but with a little bit of an adjustment. Definitely happy about adding that confetti washi. It really adds to the fun of the spread. And then I had to make a 23 in red since I wanted the weekend to have different colored numbers and they didn't have anything close to 23 in like a pink or a red. So 
I just kind of made it happen from different numbers available. And I think that's kind of a nice way to distinguish the weekend from the rest. I'm going to go ahead and trim out these strawberries and try to find new homes for them. And once I'm done with that, we will be done. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really appreciate it. So we will see you next time. Bye.